So, so that's a little bit of markdown. And then the last thing I want to talk about in text is, especially for people who use social media, we are cutting and pasting text all the time, mm -hmm. and then that text is inconsistent with everything else. So maybe you get a pile of text and you're like, oh, this is like all title case text, or like, you know, the title of each, like of each word has, is usually a capital, unless it's like ah uh, or that or something like that. Um, and you want to say like, actually, I just want this to be regular text or just the beginning of the sentence. I want it to be sentence case. And so the, what you can do is, uh, is basically add something called text services like to your, um, your operating system. So within the Mac and most likely somewhere in the PC, uh, it, you've got the ability to just go through and say, here's some text transformation rules. So I just, in any place in the world, highlight some text, right click it, go into services, and then say, ah, oh, well that text is nice, but actually what if that text was all caps? And uh, that did not work there. Something is totally bizarre, words, because it's running a script. So that's not a bad place to demo it. But everywhere else that doesn't need it, it's gonna accept these, here we go. So we'll come in here and say, I just want that to be, say, title case, because that's the, like, the, that. Maybe I'm doing like a blog title. It's like, it's always gotta be title case for there. So I just go in there and say like, initial caps of words, and you go kapow. And it just does a quick text transformation. Um, again, you know, you could spend your time and clean up that piece of text, but sometimes you're like, oh, I'm just putting this message in here and I copied it from a place that formats the text differently. You can just do a nice quick text transformation. Um, and of course, if you're getting really nerdy about that, you can then start putting those to keyboard commands. So if you go into your system preferences now you're getting really nerdy. and say like, okay, let me go to the keyboard section and, uh, and then from there you go into the shortcuts and then from there, you can actually basically turn almost anything into a keyboard command on your computer, which is awesome because sometimes you're like, I really need to copy this as plain text. Like it cannot be formatted text and you can sort of create rules around that. But using these word services things, you can basically say like, oh, I want this to be smart quotes because I hate like straight quotes. It's gotta be fancy curly quotes. Um, and then, so you can just basically click that to turn it on and then set a keyboard shortcut that would work in any application across your computer. Um, and so it can be a nice thing to say, or like, oh, I don't want any quotes on this at all. Like, get rid of it. Um, and so you can do all kinds of things, or like just get rid of like, oh, there's a whole bunch of like, like line breaks here that shouldn't even be here. And you can again, just do these text transformations to cut it down, or say you're writing to a word count. Again, there's a word count keyboard shortcut. So you can just highlight text in any application anywhere, just say word count me, and there you go. So that is another just quick little hack on doing text transformations to start normalizing things as you bring things together from multiple sources.